Welcome back, everyone. They have announced some Season 2 gameplay modes for Halo Infinite. So we're going to dive into these gameplay modes, see what's changed. They have changed up some other things. They're going to add some new stuff. There is a preview out right now. I'll put the link in the description below of kind of showing these, um, these game modes being played on the new maps, Catalyst and Breaker. So let's get into the first one. And the first one is going to be King of the Hill. They also have Land Grab and Last Spartan Standing, which we've talked about a little bit before. So I'm going to let this video run and we'll start getting into the different types of game modes that are coming in Season 2. So first off, we have King of the Hill and they are going to be putting this in Ranked as well as Social, of course. So some things that they have changed for King of the Hill. So there is also going to be their classic King of the Hill settings via custom games. But when you're playing in ranked and social, uh, things are going to be a little bit different than what you would normally find in the older versions. The so first off, each hill has now a control meter. Teams fill up their control meter when occupying the hill uncontested. Now, when you contest it, though, that control progress will stop. And when, a, of course, you know, a team fills it all the way up, they're going to earn that point. They also said the hills have a very quick capture time that can be paused by contesting and hills quickly decay ownership back to neutral when unoccupied. So you got to have somebody in there or somebody at least pushing it at all times. Now in quick play, the first hill is always consistent, but all the hills thereafter are random. But in ranked, the entire hill sequence is consistent every match. Moving on to land grab, they didn't really talk too much uh, about uh, land grab. They said they were really excited to implement it. Really, it's the, it reminds me of the same uh, game mode as you would find in Big Team Battle currently right now in Halo Infinite, where there's three zones to control. As soon as um, your entire team controls those zones, you score that point. Now, there is a unique side to it, though. You don't need all three um, captured at once. Now, once a player or a team captures a land grab zone, it disappears from the level, making one point for the capturing team. Once all zones are captured, um, you know, have been claimed on the map, a new three zone set begins to spawn in new positions on the map until one team reaches 11 points. So it's kind of like that uh, that zone control in Big Team, but it kind of has a, a little spin to where you don't need to control all three at the same time. And then moving on is their big one, Last Spartan Standing, which is going to be also um, kind of like an Escalation Slayer, which we know this as uh, the gun game. So you're going to start on your weaker automatic weapons and then move up from there. Rocket snipers, your bigger weapons as you uh, continue to score a kill, you will be uh, upgraded, as they say. So essentially, it's going to be a FFA attrition experience on these big team maps with uh, 12 people with a layered in leveling system to pair on top of, you know, trying to level up your uh, your equipment and things of that sort. And you can also go up to enemy AI players that you have killed and interact with their with their bubbles and collect um, an extra um, experience um, from getting those bubbles. Now, they are also talking about um, implementing some other things to social, um, such as Rumble Pit. Uh, they said it's an eight-player FFA playlist with a mashup of base modes alongside variants with a twist. So they said that this will be available day one. They said they aim to rotate in playlists like Social Skirmish, Social Slayer, Team Snipers, Team Doubles, and more throughout the season. Now, all these modes are not going to be available on day one. Um, so let's talk about that real quick. Both King of the Hill and Last Spartan Standing will be available day one. The last part in standing will be immediately available as the first seasonal event. So it will be available throughout the season after the event has done, but it's not going to be, um, it's not going to pop up until the first seasonal event. Now land grab will be a featured part of the fractured and trenched event around a month after seasons to uh, launch. So we're not going to get let, uh, land grab for another month after the day one, you know, that season two pops off. But after it comes out, it's going to be available, um, you know, through the rest of the season. But season 2, new modes, new maps, really exciting. It seems like they're uh, really going to be throwing a lot of content at us here in Season 2. We'll see how it works out, and uh, I'm really excited for it. Let me know in the comments what you guys are excited for most. Um, I'm really excited for King of the Hill. I really enjoy King of the Hill. Land Grab seems to be, um, it's going to be a lot of fun too, and I'm really excited for it. So... But that's going to be it for me for this one, so hope you guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. King of the Hill. Hill taken. Hill contested. First point. Hill ready.
land grab. Three zone incoming. Game time. Triple kill. Elimination. Incoming. Four Spartans remaining. 